Hello, everyone. I am Jehovah. Welcome back to War of Rights. It's Saturday, so that means we're playing with the UEC. First battle's complete. This is the second battle of the day. So, in the first battle, 8th Florida was able to uh, get the victory over the 51st New York. <clears throat> but not from lack of trying. It was a hell of a battle. Uh, questions in the stream, of course, the, about the artillery. Artillery is in the test round now. Uh, you can actually, if you have this game, you can actually go to your properties and switch to the beta test round uh, to play artillery. It's really fun, uh, I had to say. It makes me want to get in game and actually fire a gun because <clears throat> it's a really good time. Yeah, you can see those beautiful cannons sitting right there. Can't use them yet in the full game, but uh, I couldn't imagine it being very much longer before we get that. So I'm not sure if we're going to do this map or not, but this is the Dunker Church. So we see we're on the Union side. Of course, uh, today we're doing this a little differently. We've got the Confederate units on the Union side. That's because of how the campaign worked out and the uh, Union on the Confederate side. So 8th Florida and 8th Alabama, the Mighty 88 facing a facing off against the 52nd New York and the 51st New York. Deadly units. And this is the Dunker Church Battlefield, one of my personal favorites. These are always great maps, <clears throat> but uh, this one is especially good. Of course, a, uh, an important strategic point of the battlefield as well, especially in the early morning. So you've got your 51st New York with the Confederate flag. You've got your... No, I'm sorry. 51st New York with the uh, the blue flag there, the Virginia flag, and the <clears throat> 52nd New York with the uh, battle flag, the stars and bars. And on the Union side, let's see if we can tell the difference here. I think they both have American flags on this one. Yeah, it makes it really hard to tell the units apart. But I know their voices, so I might be able to just uh, shut my flappy mouth and listen to what they say. <clears throat> There's your 8th Alabama on this side. There is your 8th Florida. I'll stay away from their uh, strategy here. I hear Morphos. His voice cannot be missed. There he is, you see him? Standing in the ranks there. <clears throat> So, okay, uh, do a little history lesson here. Uh, for those of you that have heard this before, I apologize, but people like this point, so I'm going to point it out. Dunker Church uh, is part of the battlefield today. This is actually the central part of the park. The uh, visitor center is right out in this area. <clears throat> now, early in the morning of the 17th, Hooker and his men of the First Corps came out of the North Woods, and they came through that cornfield out there. That's called the Miller's Cornfield. You see the Miller's Farm out there to the left. That's where we are in the battlefield. This is the Hagerstown Turnpike on the left going up that way toward the Miller's Farm. This is the Smokehouse Road that led out toward the Mumma Farm. You can see the Mumma Farm is already on fire. The Confederates actually burned that farm um, themselves to keep it away from the Union. This is basically... <clears throat> Green's attack. So what ended up happening in the battle were early in the morning, the Union came through the cornfield. There was bloody fighting here. And then out of the East Woods toward the later morning, the Union main force came out and came and swept across this field. Now, most of them ended up in line formation in the West Woods where they were pretty much decimated. Uh, some of them broke off and went straight toward the Junker dunker church now green's men actually came in the furthest and held it the longest uh, but ultimately they had to withdraw as well these are the batteries of stephen e lee who famously uh, was quoted as calling the artillery barrage at antietam artillery hell <clears throat> yeah i've also been to uh, the dunker church uh it's it's probably the best battlefield I've ever been to. I know Gettysburg gets all the hype, and it's got a lot of statues. It's nice, uh, but Antietam does a really, really good job <clears throat> of maintaining the park. As, if I remember correctly, you can walk inside this church in real life. Now, 
That church is going to be off limits to the boys today. They can use it as cover only. So let's see what the Union does to attack. Looks like Schimmel's on the move that way. Hog in the 8th Florida coming to the left. Now usually the Union on the left will go all the way down and try to get to that fence line down there, that snake rail fence you can see way off in the distance. Uh, or this time he may go straight for it. It's hard to say. The Union, on the other hand, on the right flank, will usually come straight down this field or down the snake rail fence, but Schimmel may have something else up his sleeve. Coming in further, it looks like. This way, you can see the Confederates have moved that way. Hogg and his boys already under fire. They're coming straight through the field. Now, with everybody spread out, it's going to be hard to see everything, but... I will do my best. So Hog making kind of a zigzag. He's going for the hill. <clears throat> the terrain actually is beneficial to the Union here. These rolling hills make it uh, where you can really kind of sneak down and hide in behind. But it looks like, yeah, it looks like that's exactly what they're doing. You can see they're facing off against what appears to be the 51st New York out there. So Hogg and his boys taking cover behind the hill, the hill there. Schimmel going all the way to the extreme right. Now, this is not something you see very often <clears throat> on these matches. I like this idea, though. He's coming to the extreme side, and he wants to get down to the side and hit the Confederates on the flank. They've all got their bayonets out. This could be a bayonet charge. Let's see if the Confederates see it. Let's see if Frank... And his boys realize what Schimmel is about to do. All right, so Schimmel's crossed the road. And, <clears throat> yep, Frank sees it. He's getting his boys on the other side of the fence. Schimmel's going all the way to the woods. He wants to get in behind these boys. Looks like they have a, uh, a pincer move in mind. The hammer and anvil. See Hogg and his boys kind of peeking over the hill. He knows he's got the 51st there. All right, Frank saw it. He, he immediately took a defensive position, but sees now that Schimmel has gone into the woods. Let's follow along with the 52nd and see if they can find the 8th Alabama. He's looking for him. Of course, we get the benefit. Oh, there they are, right in front of him. <clears throat> See if the 8th Alabama knows that they're there. They're about to get hit on the flank. They're at the road. Oh, my God, they got the 52nd coming up right behind them. Here they are. They're close. <laughs> They caught him off guard. You heard the screams. Here they come. 52nd pouring into the rear of the 8th Alabama in the woods. They're still running. Schimmel and his men trying to get out of, out of dodge here. And they're not in any position to get help from the 8th Florida. You see them, they're still running. They want to get in behind the 51st. And the 8th Florida have come up. 51st there to meet them. 8th Florida's at the corner. Here come the 8th Alabama. Hopefully not getting shot by their own men. See the 8th Florida still hanging on to the corner. Just barely. 8th Alabama pouring in. 52nd hot on their tail. Will they be able to hold the corner? We still got Confederates out here. Is that Venom? No, Livingston. Oh, he's finally dead. 52nd pouring in. They're not waiting. 8th Alabama, what's left of the 8th Florida in the corner? They're just too far away from any kind of reinforcements. What a great move by the 52nd. Able to follow Schimmel all the way through the woods. <clears throat> And the pursuer became the pursuant. 
We still got people stabbing each other over here. Wow, that was a heck of a push. I, th I immediately thought that uh, Schimmel had a great plan there, and I think he did. But, uh, man, Frank's just too aggressive, boy. He ain't going to let you get by him without a fight. So great move by the 52nd there. <clears throat> and I missed uh, the 8th Florida coming up for the attack. You can see all the flags are on the field. They were just too far away from any kind of uh, reinforcements there. After this, they will focus on us, and then it's your turn again just to, just to fire our spot first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I think you coming from the left is way better since there are quite nice flanking capabilities for, for us mm. from the right. <coughs> so you hear the plan there. Now, I would imagine that they're going to be prepared for that. Okay, here's the flag coming back. You got a flag coming back here. Tiberius. <laughs> Bringing the flag all the way back. Of course, Morphos is with him. <laughs> so I imagine these Confederates are waiting for that uh, right flank attack. Oh, they're still shooting. So there's your 52nd. There's your 51st. Venom's going to see these guys coming. That's both regiments, I think. That's we always lose a couple guys, a few guys, from the uh, <clears throat> first map to the second map. So you can see that uh, all these companies are lower on men now. We need to shift more right. Uh, Confederates still have a slight advantage, but... Oh, where did he go? Go lane with the rest. Right. Company, by the right flank, march. These Confederates did have to come all the way out. Okay, so Venom saw it. He knows the plan. He sees the guys coming across the field. <clears throat> he knows how everybody fights on this battle. The Union want this snake rail fence right here. And they're going to do everything they can to get it. Uh, a lot of times it ends up right here in this corner as well. As well as fighting in the caissons. I'm really interested to see how artillery is going to change this map. So we're marching with the 51st. I'm not sure how much of an ambush it's going to be in these open fields. They've kind of lost them. <coughs> Schimmel and his men oh. coming through the corn there. All right, so the 51st has stopped just slight of the fence here. I imagine Schimmel and his boys will come out right in this area here. Oh, yep, you see him right there. So they're moving on to the attack. Hogg and his boys back to the center. You see him there behind the hill. And the 51st taking up position in the center of the field. They're going after their flag. <clears throat> here they come. These brave men want their flag. Oh, Hog's coming himself with Frick. Run, run. <laughs> oh, these guys like that mobile spawn point. All right, so here's your 8th Alabama just right out in the middle of the field. 51st starting to fire on them. 8th Alabama using the caissons as cover. But they're not paying much attention to the 51st. They're coming straight for the 52nd at the point of contention. Here they come. Schimmel ignoring the corner. He's coming straight for him now. 51st is coming from this side. They're going to meet Hogg and his men coming up to the top of the hill. Schimmel moving his men directly to the front of the 52nd New York. Completely exposed. Here come the 51st beside him. Hogg and his men still at the hill. I just don't think that there's enough Alabamians here. Flagbearer running for his life. Tiberius running for it. 
<clears throat> if Corporal Ter Terry chases him too far, he's going to run right into the 8th Florida here. All right, they thought better of it once they got to the top of the hill. So 8th Alabama, brave charge, but it was straight across the field. They're still fighting here. We've still got 8th Alabama. There's there's Tim. Sorry. Oh! <laughs> Taking a flying leap over the fence. So the 51st and 52nd able to do it again. It's hard to charge across these open fields. And I don't know that the uh, union's going to be able to do it as separate companies. They're really going to have to come in as one group. You see, okay, now we got the 52nd coming across to the center here. A fire coming in. Oh, seems to miss everybody. 51st shooting a lot of dirt there. Hog bringing his guys into the caissons. He's really wishing he could get that uh, artillery live right now. All right, 52nd racing over to meet the 8th Florida. It's going to be a race to the road. Who's going to get there first? 8th Florida might get there first, but 52nd's got a whole lot more men to do it. Hog meeting his men straight to the fence. Here we go, independent fire. 52nd in mass. You hear the huzzah. And the rebel yell. It's an even fight. Fifty first New York. I apologize, guys. I called that the fifty second. Fifty first New York, Venom's boys. Livingston coming over. Wiping out the eighth Florida. But the flag's still alive. Spilka running with the flag. Run, Spilka. Zigzag, zigzag. <laughs> uh, looks like he made it. <clears throat> All right, well, these guys are going to have to come as a, uh, a unified group. I just don't think they have the numbers to be able to do it as separate units. They're looking for the Florida. I don't see him either. <clears throat> oh, they're back here. Trying to spawn in. I think we need to go with the 8th Alabama. It's no good them going alone like that. Uh, it's way too weird. Hog and I are of the same mind. I mean, I'll move. He's absolutely right. Your movements are exposed to the enemy the whole time. You're almost going to have to go as one unit. Spilka making it all the way back. Got his tongue hanging out. Sorry, I meant it in the Florida. That is first, uh, Martin Förster, I say. Yeah, first sergeant. Förster. Lina, kommst du in die Formation rein? Martin. Can you hear me? Okay, he's left guard. <laughs> Eighth floor is coming up, Schimmel. <laughs> so let's see if uh, Schimmel agrees with Hog here. Hey, Schimmel. Uh, first attendant. Yep. Uh, uh, I think we should go together could, this could time. Oh, okay. Um, it's really, really important that if each of yes, any, of us, any of us charge, oh the other God. supports immediately, okay? It's really important that we look out for each other. Man, it was um, impossible for us to charge. There was 30 men in the waiting for us. Because we were riding, you know, but you Yeah, because before we were, like, in and riding only after... Looks like, after like Hogs letting Paliha uh, <coughs> lead the company yeah. this time. Yeah, I saw it, but there's still one else. You know, maintain one of the units just looking at us. Oh, we, ju we just couldn't uh, show ourselves. Yeah. Uh, would it be possible Everybody because yeah. the one was ch charging, uh, was uh, charging yeah. from the left, and the, uh, and the one in the center we were charging. Yes. Anyway, uh, anyway, please, please, please just look out uh, to support if uh, yeah, engaged. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, rounds coming in. Oh, so feeling froggy over there. These Confederates are uh, <laughs> feeling froggy, as they say. You cannot mistake Morphos' voice. It's very distinct. Uh, 
Take his right. So we're, uh... More rounds coming in from the Confederates. <clears throat> All right, so the Union is moving out again. Let's visit our Confederates, see what they do about this. They're still in the standard position. Good defense. Both units are engaged. 24 minutes to go. You see the 52nd moving out to the left. 51st moving left as well. You hear him giving the boys hell. <clears throat> they look damn good, guys. All of you. All right, we can see the Florida out in the middle of the field, soaking the 52nd. Oh, they're, they're both coming this way. Man, it's so hard to come across these fields. See the fire coming in, a couple of those guys dropping. That's your 8th Florida. 8th Alabama, on the other hand, going further left. <clears throat> Trying to split these boys up. 8th Florida going back toward the center. They're drawing the 51st with them. Good luck, Fritz. Can you just call them Fritz? Venom and the boys coming over to take up a defensive position against the Floridians. Company, hold. While the 8th Alabama looking for a little vengeance against the 52nd. 8th Florida showing themselves. Here comes the volley. They got it off first. A couple men fell. Good hits, gentlemen. Very good hits. There you yeah. go. <clears throat> Is the 8th Alabama doing it again? Nope. 50 seconds moved off. They're anticipating the same movement as before from the 8th Alabama. I doubt Schimmel's going to give him the same thing twice. You see him serpentining through the field. He might be. He might be going back to those woods. <clears throat> you can see Frank's anticipating that movement. He's already back there. So let's see what the Alabama do. If they come down this fence line or if they cross the road and go into the woods. Looks like they're doing it again. <clears throat> they're going to walk right into the 51st, or 52nd, I apologize. So let's see what their defensive position looks like. Oh, my God. If Frank holds his fire, he could devastate the 8th Alabama here. Let's see what Schimmel does. All right, he's got his men up. Oh, he's aiming for the 51st. He's on their flank. Oh, they go down in. Wow. <clears throat> what a volley. Eighth Florida is right up in their face as well. They took it from both sides. Now, is the 52nd going to stay in that defensive position, or are they going to come out and fight? 51st is running for it. 52nd still in the woods. <clears throat> Schimmel and his boys in the rocks. They're not going any further. They're still firing into the backs of the 51st. 51st New York has taken a good defensive position here. And 52nd New York still kind of waiting. No, they're on the move. They're on the move. They're trying to get to the flank of the 8th Alabama. Here they come. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're going to be able to do it. They can hear the firing. Alabama has turned this way. Will they get reloaded in time? You heard the fire and charge. Here they go. Both units firing directly into the face of each other. Well, I thought it was a fire and charge. But it looks to be more of a just stand and shoot. Oh, here come the 8th Florida. Into the flank of the... <laughs> they snuck up and surprised the 52nd. And I imagine the 8th Alabama's coming right in to help, and here they are. What an amazing strike by Hogg. Hit the 52nd on the flank. Give the Alabama time to come in as well. What's the 51st going to do about this? 51st still in a defensive position. 
Unfortunately, they can't see what's going on in the woods and the slaughter of the 52nd New York. The mighty 88 has wiped out the 52nd, and here they come for the 51st. <clears throat> Let's see what these New Yorkers do to defend themselves. They're moving off to the left. Company hold. Trying to get that point of contention. Both units are engaged. 19 minutes left. The Union's coming out of the woods. Company, ready? Ready. Ready. You're going to pop up for the church. Right. Sir? I think there's a flag. Yeah. Oh, he's thinking they're coming out behind the church, but yeah, he's not wrong. Here they come. That's your 8th Florida there. 8th <clears throat> Alabama still on the flank. If the Union would press their attack now, they'd have an advantage. If they wait too long, these 52nd are going to be back in. Looks like the 8th Alabama is also on the move. They're all going to use the church here. 8th Florida just doesn't have a lot of men left. Ready, sir. Yeah, Hog, Hog feels that he's not going to be able to do that by himself. I tend to agree with him. <clears throat> uh, the Confederates are going to come out right behind him. It looks like Schimmel and his men are going out to meet up with the 52nd here. No, here they come swinging around. Here come your 8th Alabama. 51st is going to see him. 8th Alabama coming out of the woods. Both teams firing in, and the fire in charge. Here come the 8th Alabama. 51st wavering. Schimmel firing his pistol. One man can't kill Schimmel Finnig. <laughs> He's over the fence. 8th Alabama and 8th Florida attacking the 51st and wiping them out. <clears throat> Both units engaged. They've now got the point of contention. It's ticking toward the Union. But here come the 52nd. They have not forgotten their brutality in the woods. Crossing the road. You hear Schimmel calling for his men. 52nd coming up to the corner. Frank and his boys coming up for the best defensive position they can get right here. Oh, my God. The Union doesn't see him. They see him now. <clears throat> and 8th Alabama's getting the hell out of there. Nope, that's the 8th Florida. 8th Alabama standing their ground. And now they're moving up over the fence, trying to, to get cover. And Schimmel's on the charge again. Oh, Lord, I don't know if he can do this with this many men. Let's find out. <clears throat> Schimmel, aggressive as ever, coming straight into the face. You hear the huzzah. Schimmel Finnig, Finnig has emptied his pistol. It's time for the saber. He's trying to get his men to charge. 52nd New York coming to meet the... The Union advance. Not a lot of 8th Florida left, but they're here with them. 52nd holding the angle. And there's the Rebel yell. Both sides now taking losses. The Union weren't able to completely capture the point. They still got men left. Pulleyha still in, in command here in this area. It looks like Hogg's dead. Schimmel Finnig finally died as well. You gotta get over that fence for defensive. Now 51st is gonna be out here somewhere. They're gonna be heading back in this direction as well. And we have the counterattack in effect. Six minutes, 54 seconds, the clock is ticking. So the Yankees have done it. They've forced the counterattack, and they're moving on down for a better defensive position. Fire at 
<clears throat> 50 second has not really moved. Staying in that corner. Waiting for the 51st to come back and join him. Here they are. 51st is back on the field. Venom and his boys now. They've got to know they outnumber the Union. But where? Oh, here they come. Reinforcements are coming in. Six minutes in this counterattack. Palias held the ground long enough for some reinforcements to come in. Schimmel Fennig's back. He's moving the boys back into the angle here. And the Confederates are moving off to the woods. Here's Schimmel wanting to hold that point. They've only got to do it for five minutes, six minutes. But it's ticking away from them. There's a lot of Confederates in this area. The rest of the Union reinforcements have to run from all the way down there. <clears throat> Confederates are hiding behind the church. All right, they're trying the uh, old Jenkins Brigade wrap around there. So let's see if the Union can do anything about it. They're in a good defensive position. Um, <clears throat> Frank's hoping that they can't hit both sides. All right, they're exposed running into the woods, so they see them. They know what they're going to do. Now the question is, do they think that was everyone? 52nd is still in behind the barn, it looks like, or behind the church. Okay. Schultz has his gun po pointing out there. He can still see it. All right, so the Union's going to have to do something to protect the right flank. You see him doing it here. It looks like Florida. <clears throat> no, Alabama. Schimmel Finnig's moving his men to the right. Florida holding the corner against the 52nd. There's not a lot of Alabama coming this way. Oh, here they come. All the reinforcements of the Alabama coming in now. Schimmel Finnig racing to the right. You can see the 51st. Here's Venom. Venom versus Schimmel Finnig head to head. Oh, my God. <laughs> Venom never had a chance. He didn't even get his gun out in time. He was racing for the fence. <laughs> oh, that was unfair. Oh, there's one stab. Two men. It took two men to kill a Schimmel Finnig that time. <laughs> oh, my God. That was hilarious. <clears throat> but uh, 8th Alabama's going to do it again. Held him off. Now the 52nd. Facing a golf against the 8th Florida. Looks like the 8th Florida's been able to do it. They were. They held off the 52nd. Wow. No, no, no. 52nd has raced around as well. They're coming to back up the, the uh, <clears throat> 51st here. They also went through the woods, but they met the 8th Alabama. They thought they'd be gone. 8th Florida coming in to reinforce the 8th Alabama. 52nd now running back for the cover of the woods. Good job, sir. And you heard the brake reloads are shifting left back, going to the crotch. They're just trying to draw them away from the point of contention. But there's only 2 minutes, 56 seconds left, and it's going back Union. Here come the Confederates. <clears throat> 50 second going back to the point of contention. There's Frank leading his men. See O'Keefe Venom's back. They want that point of contention, and it's coming back Confederate hard. Here they go. Union, do they have enough in them to force the attack? See random fire coming in. But we got the 51st and the 52nd on the point. They're about to overcome this counterattack. Union has to do something now. But I just don't think they have enough men to fight both of these. You see the Union starting to move out. Paliha moving straight forward. 8th Alabama going behind. Oh, this is going to be suicide. Here they come, 8th Florida going directly into the grinder. <clears throat> they had to do something. But they just didn't have the numbers. See, Private Black's got the flag. He's going to have to get the hell out of there. 
He's a private. He might be confused. <clears throat> That's right. Run away from the other army. <laughs> if possible. So the 52nd did it. All right, what's left of the 8th Alabama? They're running back toward the corner as well. Here's the counter charge. The counter attack has been overcome. Frank and Venom leading the 51st and the 52nd straight into what's left of the 8th floor in the 8th Alabama. <clears throat> there aren't many, and they're running for their lives. Here they go. Run, Private. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep running. Oh, my God. Oh, and he's dead. Flag is down. Rommel going back for the flag. Run, buddy. <laughs> he did it. He saved the flag. <clears throat> so the clock starts ticking again. We got 14 minutes left. Both sides taking losses. And the 51st and the 52nd New York back in command of the Dunker Church. That was a great counterattack. So Schimmel and Hogg have got to get their men back together again. Let's see if they can do it in time. We got plenty of time. It's 14 minutes left. See there, we got Hogg. <clears throat> and his men. Where's the Alabama? Oh my god, Schimmel's already moved. Look at that. He's off in the woods. What is happening? He surprised the hell out of me. I'm guaranteed he's gonna surprise these uh Confederates. Where are they? I see the flags. They're moving this way. <clears throat> he's done that big wrap around again. Schimmel's got his running shoes on again. 8th Alabama on the flank. All right, they get to fire down the flank of the Confederates. How long before the Confederates know they're here? Confederates are moving. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we've got 52nd behind the church. 51st off in the corner here. You've got your 8th <clears throat> Florida. What's left of them? Here behind the rocks. Now they're ganged up. They're in a tough spot here. Most likely they're going to run to this hill right here if I, if I, <clears throat> if I imagine right. All right, Schimmel's running back into the woods again. Here they go, 8th Alabama. He knows they're behind the church and he can't get to them. 11 minutes to go. He wants to get to that point. Oh, it looks like the 52nd has moved off into the woods. They have. <clears throat> They're going to try to flank Schimmel. Schimmel Finnig coming out where the 52nd were, but not where they are. He runs the risk of getting flanked from the rear here. Oh, God, here they come again. 52nd doing it just like they did earlier. They don't even know they're there. <clears throat> they're behind you, Schimmel. 52nd charging into the rear of the 8th Alabama. Flag goes down. 8th Alabama simultaneously attacking the 51st. Here comes the 8th Florida. This is brutal. 52nd just pouring through 8th Alabama. <clears throat> Pretty much wiped out. 8th Florida, not going to have much left. 8th Alabama still here. Nice 
52nd with another impressive sweep around counterattack. And you heard it, the Union's now breaking. Less than 10 minutes to go and the Confederates are in a commanding position here. It seems like everywhere Schimmel goes today, Frank is on his backside. Another impressive movement by the 52nd New York. <clears throat> you can't uh, you can't say anything bad about Schimmel's movements. They were excellent, but just Frank is just anticipating every one of them today. Nine minutes left. These Union boys are going to have to get creative if they have any hope to get in that counterattack back in. It would have been a day for the Confederates. Yeah, Oh my god, you hear it so loud. No, what I'm trying to tell you is that you don't need to charge. My ass flying away. In the first place there. Nothing about nothing about support. It's another thing. Okay. Well, that oh defended, so I mean, it's a bit easier. Oh, nice. Warning point. Yeah, it, actually, okay, good luck. it's, yeah. Quickly, we're, we're, we're on this map, it's easy to shift, right? Like, if they we see if where we're going to go. If we don't right? manage to get them in, in like, breaking and capture the point, uh, it's lost. Yeah, yeah, I know that, yeah. <coughs> so you see they're kind of sizing up what they've got to do. They know they're in a tight spot here. They've got to get the Confederates breaking. So a full frontal assault's probably not going to be in their favor. Although the numbers are a lot closer now. So you can see everybody is... They've got good numbers on both sides, so... You just can't take anything away from these 52nd and 51st boys. They're just playing really, really good today. <clears throat> As well uh, is the uh, Mighty 88. If you see anything... Easy, I'm not gonna lie, I think this entire game I probably spent more time with the Germans because I had to spawn and go with them because there was no other guys. It was painful living to... Here we go. There's Venom coming back with the rest of the 51st. <clears throat> Here's your 52nd New York. Looking down the field, and you can see the Union moving to the Confederate left. Look at the blood on these bayonets. <laughs> so Confederates moving to the left to support the 51st here. This is a tough map for the Union, that's for sure. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Looks like they're going all the way around again. <coughs> Frank has just got his nose up Schimmel's butt all day. Wherever Schimmel goes, Frank's going with him. Don't know what they're firing at. Blind. Looks like they might be staying together as one unit, the Union, this time. <clears throat> might be their only shot. Come in as one unit, catch these units individually. There you go, there's Schimmel in the red hat. Here come Hog in the 8th Florida. Paliha leading the way. So you can see Frank's boys down there. Shimmel right at the edge of the map. <clears throat> so we got Confederate runners going back to send information. All right, here comes Frank, 
Fifty second moving this way. Over the fence. Over the fence. Over the second fence. Wir sind an einer kompletten Einheit vorbei, ne? They're running. Where are the Florida? I missed them. Oh, Florida broke off to the middle. <coughs> no, we're not gonna miss this woods again. This is too good. Schimmel, eine Linie ist nach rechts in den Wald gelaufen von denen. Ja, ich wollte es wieder flankieren. Schimmel in a good defensive position. Confederates know they have the advantage here. They can just sit and wait for the uh, Union to attack. And that's what they're doing. They're out in the trees now. Where is Hog in the 8th Florida? Here they are. <clears throat> Moving up. Now's the time to go for that point of contention, maybe to draw the Confederates out. But Polly Haw's got his men coming straight to the fence. They're going to be firing into the Confederates. They're on one knee. This could get them a lot of tickets if they can kill them. All right, here come the 8th Alabama back across the fence. Grouping up with the 8th Florida. And here they go toward the point of contention. That's what they've got to do. <clears throat> but the 51st is not going to give it to them. 51st New York Venom coming this way. It's a race to the corner, and they got there first, but there's a whole lot of Confederates coming, or a whole lot of uh, Union coming. Looks like 8th Florida backed off the other way. It's going to be 8th Alabama against 51st New York, and they've got the fence. 8th Alabama coming across under fire. Schimmel Finnig and his men. Oh, one stab. One man cannot kill Schimmel Finnig. Oh, one bullet can. <laughs> 8th Alabama charging into the 51st. <clears throat> what are they going to do? You heard the huzzah. They got them breaking. That's what they wanted. But the 52nd has come back around to the point of contention. 8th Florida now in the caissons. Right up close and personal. And you still got Alabamans. Coming in from the flank. There's Venom. Doing what he can. He's back up with the 52nd. 51st is almost completely gone. Eighth Florida now all alone. One minute, 56 seconds left. They're in a real bad spot. 8th Alabama's going to have to form up and come in and hit these Confederates on the back. If the 8th Florida can keep them turned this way long enough, they might have an opportunity here. But it's going to be tough. And Schimmel's going to have to get these guys here real quick. Yeah, because there aren't very many Floridians left. <laughs> Paliha doing what he can with four men. Confederates pouring in a brutal fire. Uh, that's funny. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, really? Five? Still five. Oh, make it four again. <laughs> the great to share the glory. Yeah. To the last one. Yeah, I was going to say, I think Frank's going to get tired of this shit pretty quick. Here he comes. Yeah. <laughs> Both <laughs> units coming in to kill these four Floridians. They got one of them. <clears throat> and there it is. And here come the rest of them right across the field. Here comes Schimmel, Hogg, and the rest of the Union Army. Here they come, maybe too little too late. 20 seconds left. And there's an awful lot of Confederates here. Yeah. 
And there you have it, a Confederate defeat, <clears throat> or sorry, a Confederate victory. <laughs> oh, what a great battle. Uh, congratulations, 52nd uh, New York, 51st New York, for holding up the defense of the Dunker Church there. You can see the uh, losses. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the battles today. If you did, hit the like button. Uh, consider subscribing. We do this every Saturday. Come back and join us again next week. Uh, until then, my name is Jehovah, and I will catch you later. Goodbye.